Today I'll be talking to you about earning and managing money, in particular calculating earnings based on commission. Commission is a payment that is based on a percentage of the value of what you sold. So for example, uh, a real estate agent or a car dealsman would earn money whenever they sell a house or a car. Uh, advantages of this include how uh, higher sales would give you uh, bigger income. So what that means is if you earn a lot, uh, sorry, if you earn a 1% commission on a house, for example, which sells for a million dollars, you'd earn 1% of the million dollars, which would be a lot larger than earning a 1% when you sell a car of, say, $2,000. So 1% of a million is going to be a lot larger than 1% of 2,000. Another advantage is you would receive a small payment, uh, which is called a retainer plus the commission. So when you don't sell a car or a house, uh, you still earn money. Uh, this is good because it's not every day or every week that you'll be able to sell a car or a house. Uh, this is another advantage of this is even if you do sell the house or the car, you still earn that retainer on top. Uh, disadvantages of earning by commission, uh, your income may vary each week. So let's say for example, you didn't sell that house or the car for a month then all you would be earning is your retainer, which generally is not too high. Uh, another disadvantage is com competition for customers is usually high, so you can hear uh, stories about car dealers and real estate agents competing with each other to try and sell. Uh, so they would fight over customers. So that's fairly difficult to earn money. Here's an example. Uh, Caitlin and her assistant Holly sell perfume. Caitlin earns 20% commission on her own sales, as well as a 5% commission on Holly's sales. So I'll underline that, 20% for Caitlin's sales and 5% for Holly's sales. What was Caitlin's commission last month when she made sales of $1,800 and Holly made sales of $2,000? So Caitlin earns 20%, which is 0 0.2 as a decimal of of means times in mathematics, $1,000, so $1,800, sorry, which would come out to be some amount, um, sorry, just doing the calculator, $360. Uh, she would also earn 5% of Holly's earnings, which is $2,000, which comes out to be $100. So, Caitlin earns a combination of these, which would be $460. This is a bit more involved. A real estate agency charges commission for selling a property. Uh, details of that are shown in this table up here. So, for properties up to $300,000, the commission rate is 4%. And for properties $300,000 and over, the commission would be 5%. Bailey is paid by the real estate agent. $180 a week plus 5% of the commission received by the real estate agency. So that would be this amount up here. This week, Bailey sold one property for $290,000 and one for $600,000. He sold no properties in the previous week. All right, let's look at part A. What is the commission paid to the real estate agency for the property worth $290,000? Okay, let's get some paper in here. Now, if your property was worth $290,000, the table here tells us that it is less than $300,000, so we need to find a commission of 4%. So we times by 0 0.04, and what that will give us is $11,600. That's part A. Part B asks us, what is the commission paid to the real estate agency for both properties? Well, we've already found the $290,000 one. We need to figure out the $600,000 one now. That's over $300,000. So the table from above tells us we need to find 5% for properties $300,000 and over. So finding 5% of this will give us $30,000 and Together, the two properties would be 11,600 
plus 30,000 would be $41,600. Now on to part C. Calculate Bailey's pay for this week. Well, Bailey earns 5% of the commission received by the real estate agency, so he's going to earn 5% of this $41,600. He's also going to earn $180 per week. That would be his retainer. So, writing this all down, $180 plus 5%, 0.05, times by his $41,600 that the real estate agency earns. And this comes out to 2260 Not bad for a week. Uh, on to the final part now. What is Bailey's average income, so average weekly income, for the two-week period? Well, it says here he sold no properties in the previous week, so he doesn't earn any commission. However, he does still earn his retainer. So it will be $180 from last week. This week we'll have $2,260 and his total would come to $2,440. So your average income over the two weeks would be this amount divided by how many weeks which is 2 and that comes to $1,220. That would be his average income over the two weeks, which is still respectable.